Countryside. It's Joe Smith, your general manager, and I am here today with J.D. Verone, our golf course superintendent. J.D., thanks for the time today. Oh, thanks, Joe. Always a pleasure. So we are um, well into our summer golf course practices. That's right, yeah. And we've spent an awful lot of time talking about the clubhouse. Yes. And everything that's going on with that project. And we should, yeah. We should, but uh, I don't want to forget all the work that is on your plate and your team's plate as we go into the summer months because um, as most of you all know, you know, when we get into the summer, we close down Mondays. That's it's, right. It's kind of uh, your time to shine, if you will. We've got a lot of work Your to do. busy season is opposite of the club's busy season. Correct. And you've got a lot going on in the golf course. Yeah, we do, um, Joe. And yeah. Probably a little overdue with this video. I know there's a lot that's happened in the last couple weeks here. Yeah. Um, you and I have spent some time with some members recently just yes. answering some questions about what's going on out on the golf course. So yes. um, let's let's fill everybody in, talk a little bit about what's on your plate and, yeah, and kind absolutely. of what's coming up here. So. Yeah, Joe, uh, you know, we started closing on Mondays, so, uh, you know, it, it's time for us to get busy. And uh, as you can see behind us, we're starting to trim, uh, you know, this is a real aggressive year for our, yeah. our landscape. This looks aggressive. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been, believe it or not, it's been five years. So, uh, yeah. you know, uh, it, it's time to, to prune them way down. Right. So uh, that's what we're in the, you know, starting this project. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's going to take a while, but uh, it's necessary. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of other things that we do on closed Mondays, Joe, because uh, we don't have the, the, the people out playing and we don't have carts out there. So we can uh, do things like uh, cart path repairs on Monday, right. which we're doing right behind us on number nine right now. Uh, these are, we, every summer we take our worst cart path areas and uh, we repair them mm. on a closed Monday. Mm. Best day to do it. Uh, a lot of other things we're doing. You know, we started airifying last week, Joe. We did the yeah. tees last week. Uh, you know, one other thing that we're, we're starting to do is, is lower our heights of cut, Joe. You know, we had a, a El Nino winter, so we were very aggressive with our, you know, with our nutrition to uh, to withstand the low light that we had during some of the months that we had and obviously heavy play still. Right. So uh, as the weather warmed up, we had a big flush of growth. And so now it's time to start bringing those heights of cut down. And uh, next week, Joe, we start verticutting mm. on the fairways and tees. So uh, it's going to be uh, even more grass, you know, being thinned out and uh, getting the height of cut lower. And then that also prepares us, Joe, to start airifying. And we'll, like I said, we started on the tees last week. Uh, we'll continue with the fairways. And of course, uh, you know, closed Mondays are the best time to airify our greens. And our first one will be next month on June 10th. And we'll do one per month leading up into yeah. season. But uh, yeah, uh, we're really excited. Uh, you know, we've got, you know, some other projects going on like uh, Real exciting stuff. We're, we're actually uh, adding to the playability and visual on some of the holes, uh, like hole number 12, where we're expanding the approach mm. and the collar on that. We'll also be, you know, do, we're doing it on number five. Uh, so you're you're scalping down some of those areas that's correct. to, that's to correct. expand and open the approach. That's correct. Uh, we're, we're making the approach bigger. We're making the collar area bigger. It'll be lower heights of cut around these portions of the green. Mm. And uh, we, we feel it adds to the playability around yeah. the green. Uh, you have different options. Uh, if you're on shorter grass, when you have a shot around the green, you could, you know, instead of just in, in rough, where you have maybe one right. or two options, right. you have a few more options to play. We also feel it, it'll make the hole look better too, sure. visually when you're looking at so, it. So cor correct me if I'm wrong, but when you guys uh, start to take those approaches down, yes. um, that initial cut, when you're when you're essentially scalping them, right, it may not look pretty at first. No, but that's the intent. Yeah, right? it, it'll it'll adapt, and and the thing to do is to do it right now. We're we're relatively dry. We've we're, we're in yeah. you know our dry season. Right, temperatures are going up. We are in growing season, so as long as we can get irrigation to it, uh, we're going to go down on these heights of cuts. The same with the verticutting. Uh, when we start verticutting. And, and then mowing, you're really gonna see some some scalping going on too. Yeah. Same as aerification too. But this is the time to start these practices. And uh, believe it or not, 
get it ready for next season. And the reason why we want to start right now is we're having these dry periods of time and it gets yeah. pretty wet here once you get into the late part of the summer, Joe. Right. So we want to get a head start and do these practices early and then let the grass adapt to it before it gets wet later on. Can, can you talk a little bit about um, the weather pattern we had this season and yeah. the growth of grass and yeah. some of the waviness or bumpiness we have in the fairways? I remember well, when we went into yeah. the fall, you said to me, yeah. Joe, we're going we're gonna to try and outgrow this El Nino winter. That's and correct. I yeah. think you did that. Yeah. Um, that was our plan, no doubt. So can you just elaborate on that a little bit? Well, El Nino is a special special uh, thing. It's not every year. Normally right. during our golfing season, which begins October, I mean, at some point in October, middle or late, it just stops raining. And yeah. uh, you get very little rain unless a, a front's coming in. And then it, it could be very, very little rain as you get through. And it through started the, raining in well, November that's, for us. That, yeah. That's what El Nino is. Yeah. It's, the, it's the complete opposite. Uh, we even had rainouts during our season, yeah. which is very, very rare. Uh, we actually uh, had water leaving the property, uh, which meant we were over control level in our lakes. Our lakes yeah. um, and, and that's during the season, which is it also never happens. It's very, very rare. It only happens during these El Nino. So uh, you also have low sunlight too. Yeah. Uh, a lot of these uh, extended periods, you know, over days. So and cold. Uh, well, uh, so rain. Cool. Cloud cover and cool weather is yeah, really correct. not a good combination. Not right? for Bermuda grass, uh, it doesn't like that. But yeah. uh, you know what, uh, we, we had a good plan. Uh, obviously we couldn't use many granular fertilizers, but when we had the chance we used liquid fertilizers, uh, foliar fertilizers that absorb through the plant and uh, tried to, like you said, maybe outgrow some of those cloudy conditions. Uh, once the sun came out later on in the season, the grass really took off and uh, you know, we, we, uh, we certainly have a lot of grass out there yeah. right now. And uh, certainly we're starting to take care of that. We're, we're starting to go down and uh, there will be some scalping, but again, this is the time of year to do that. Right. So just to, to sum all that up, some of the, the, the waviness that we see in the fairways that's come up uh, from some of you all, that's really just a lot of grass. That's, there is that's a out lot there. of grass so, out there. So some of the practices that you have in motion here for the yeah. next several weeks to, to start to pull some of that thatch out and bring the, the height of cut down is going to going to resolve that. Absolutely, yeah. Joe. You hit, okay. you, hit, you hit it right on. Uh, we're going to start verticutting next week. Yeah. And uh, that will certainly, that reduces thatch. You've uh, also got a new piece of equipment coming at the end of this that's week correct. as well. That's correct. And, that, and we'll be using that piece of equipment next yeah. week. So yeah. uh, we're excited about it. Uh, and uh, it'll certainly, uh, you know, it's part of, part of the cultural practices that we have for this summer. Right. You uh, Before we started filming, you mentioned some drainage work as well. Can Absolutely. We Absolutely, yeah. Closed that. Mondays are, are <laughs> you know, uh, whether you know it or not, we, we have some areas here on Countryside that are very rocky. Uh, yeah. You saw some of that during construction, Joe. Yeah. Uh, certainly our, our contractor, Ryan Golf, saw that too, including our irrigation contractor. Um, some of our areas don't drain very well because there's not a lot of soil before you hit rock. Right. So what we've done is we're adding to our drainage system. We're very happy that we got the drainage system that we did, Joe. But in between some of those, uh, the, the soil around it doesn't percolate very well. So we add on to these existing drains. Yeah. So we add on four inch perforated pipe. Uh, we use an 89 stone. So we trench out these areas and go into these drains. And again, we do these jobs on closed Monday. So we'll be doing one of these every Monday uh, during the off season. And uh, we just did, you know, we're working on our second one today. Excellent, Yeah. excellent. So a little bit on your plate, a little yeah, bit on your team's I, plate. And yeah. in addition to all that and your, your, your normal practices through the summer, um, the, the clubhouse renovation is requiring a Absolutely. lot of your focus as well. I know um, yeah. I've, I've been in a lot of <laughs> communication with Gabriel and, yes. the, and the common area team. Yes. Um, as we've broken irrigation lines and yes. um, and you're actually working right now on, on the irrigation for 
the future of the clubhouse. That's correct, Joe. So, um, you know, there's just, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we have, uh, we have, we know where some of the pipe is. We don't know where every bit right. of the pipe is because some of it was put in a long, long time ago. Yeah. And there was never a blueprint uh, put for some of it. Now, uh, we know where, where some of it is. We have, we've done our, our, our due diligence locating uh, certain main lines for sure, but we're still going to run into some, some surprises sure. and we, we, we have had that already. Yeah. And uh, we do have some obstacles coming up and that is when they do the main drainage too. There are going to be some obstacles that we're going to have to work around with the construction company. Right. So yes, uh, we're working on a new system, uh, the new design for the new system around the new clubhouse. So it certainly is exciting though, Joe. It is, it is. And, and ultimately it all has to tie into the existing system, so that is there's, correct. A, there's an awful lot of coordination. Uh, that is correct, yeah. So. What, what waters the golf course, also waters all our common areas, which is our entrances, both at Radio, Davis, all the common roadsides, and the clubhouse. That's right. So it's all one irrigation system. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Well, anything else you want to you want to touch on today, or you know, I'd like I'd like to do a few more of these videos Absolutely. as we get into the summer, yeah. and, and uh, again talk about some of the equipment you're using out there and show some of the progress. But you know, overall, um, you know, you, you guys, you and your team do a great job, and uh, I know you've got a lot of work ahead of you this summer. So thanks, Joe. Um, you know, I appreciate. It. I know the community appreciates. Well, we it. certainly appreciate. All, all the members here for their support. Excellent. Absolutely. Excellent. Awesome. Well, JD, as always, thanks for the time thanks, today. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Countryside, you have any questions, comments, feedback, you can certainly send it our way. Um, we love hearing from you. Absolutely. Uh, whether positive or criticism. I mean, that's that's how we get better. So Absolutely. Um, reach out to any one of us and, uh, you know, JD and I are always willing to spend time uh, with members specifically on the golf course. Absolutely. So, um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep moving forward and, you know. Yeah, yes. It's that time it, of year, It's that Joe. time of year. Absolutely. So excellent. Well, Countryside, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around the club real soon. Thank you. Thank you.